Hi gang, this is Dr. Katie Carter. This is a send out to all of my patients and anybody else who wants to watch this video. I know that you're all just a little bit concerned about the, the lack of vitamin C that you can buy both from us and online and, and, and about. And um, I don't want you to be worried about that. There's other places to get vitamin C in your environment. We're really lucky to live in the valley here. There's plenty of trees that we can get the, from the needles of. Uh, Doug fir is a really good choice. This Doug fir is kind of stuck between uh, two other trees that are going to go up bigger. Um, I would choose a tree like this because it, it could be cold anyway. Um, if you have a lone Doug tree that looks like it's in a beautiful place, you might want to leave it alone. But you want to just take off the, the very um, ends of the, the Doug fir tree uh, and make a T out of it. How do I know this is a Doug fir? It has a, 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 a flat needle. And the needle also goes around all the way around the stem and um, as opposed to like a, a grand fir, which we'll show you in a minute. The other identifying factor is that these branches come off at a little bit more of a random. Um, they don't come off all at the same place. Uh, they do come off from, the, you know, a similar year, but they don't come off in the umbrella kind of way that you'll see with the Doug fir. Grand fir. With the, excuse me, the grand fir. Um, so uh, you can make a tea out of this. Don't uh, boil the, the needles, just boil your water and then put the uh, needles in and then cover it and let it sit. And what you want to do is you want to keep your vitamin C levels up. Why is vitamin C level important right now? It's really important because they have shown that um, the epidemiologists and the immunologists more specifically have shown that this particular virus will cause, the reason that it causes so much inflammation in the lungs is because it affects, and, and why people can't handle that is because of inflammation. And the inflammasomes that are created by the um, virus itself are actually brought down or mitigated by vitamin C. So that's why you wanna do vitamin C rich foods. When you do go to the grocery store, focus on those aisles that are on the around. Don't, you don't um, get so much of the packaged foods. Okay, so, and I really suggest that you make a batch of this for the day and like a cur jar and just be drinking it because it also is really nice to have constant vitamin C levels that are high. Vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin and it, um, it doesn't last in the body very long. So that's why we wanna keep um, giving you uh, a, a good amount of it throughout the day. Um, just a fair amount of it at, uh, along the day. Okay, so um, we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna take you over to a grand fur and show you the difference real quick. Thanks. Here we see the grand fur. You can see that it actually look, has more of a flattened look if you compare it to the dug fur and it comes off a little bit more um, as a, as a, in one plane and it doesn't, it doesn't go all the way around. Um, it has a totally different look. It's a very beautiful tree. And what you also notice is that, see how the branches come off in kind of an umbrella, like all, all this at the same spot. So that's another very identifying factor. I find that the grand fir needles are way shinier than the dug fir needles as well. That's another identifying factor. Um, so, and I don't know about the medicinal use or if this would be more toxic. I know I sent out a video or a, a, a thing about ponderosa pine. Um, it, uh, I think that maybe sticking with this uh, fur for now would be uh, better just in case um, where you're drinking a lot of it. Um, a little bit of ponderosa pine tea is going to be fine, but for long-term effects, I think that we might want to stick with this. Um, I'll be getting back to you about some more videos of things that you can do to help your health. And in the meantime, what I'd like you to do is just make sure that you stay um, healthy and um, be, be at one. This is uh, really affecting uh, so many people. And I want you to know that there's a part of your immune system that's called the IL-6 that really has to do with um, with how your emotions affect your immune system. So it's really important to stay in gratitude, go out and enjoy the day, enjoy your family, enjoy every moment of every day that you have. And um, we're gonna all get through this, okay? All right, take care, we'll talk to you soon.